All right, so in this video, we have Ari Shafir taking some shots at Brian Callen and criticizing him for the way he handled Chris D'Elia getting canceled back in 2020. I'm sure everybody remembers the clip of Brian talking about it while he's on The Fighter and the Kid. It was one of the best moments, and it was right before he got canceled, but it was awesome. Brian, didn't, he was pretending like he was crying so he couldn't talk, and he'd like push the mic away, and then he'd start to say something. He's like, I'm just mad. I'm mad, and then he'd start crying again. I can't talk. It's just, I'm mad at him. Okay. okay. So obviously, Brendan didn't have much to say about it, but Brian talked about it a little bit, and this is what he had to say. And so this is what I'll say. Um, I always knew Chris as a ladies' man. I have never, and I'm going to say this, I have never seen or heard of him doing anything illegal, ever. Um, this is as shocking to me as I'm watching this happen, I don't know what to think and I don't know what to say. I don't. Um, but I have, I'm going to say it again. I have personally never heard or seen him do anything illegal. That's all I can say. And right now I have to believe that because he's still a friend. And, and, and it may be unpopular to say that, but I, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to do. And I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be some, uh, I, I, I just think it's an impossible situation, and uh, I'm, I'm just at a loss. I'm at a loss, and I'm praying, I'm praying that um, what I'm hearing isn't true. Maybe that's the best way to put it. I'm we've shot. never been, we've never been on the road with him. I, you know, never. I was on the road with him um, about 14 years ago once, um, when he was, uh, you know, just beginning. But I've never been on the road with him, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to think, and I don't know. And that's what's so frustrating. It's I'm just sad. Yeah. I'm sad. I don't... So anyway. Apparently Ari Shafir wasn't very happy with the way Brian handled this. So the other day he was on Bobby Kelly's podcast and he brought this up for some reason. Like this is three years old, but I guess it's been bugging him. Even though I think he hates Brian for some other reasons, which I'll get to. But this is what he had to say about the way Brian handled the whole Chris D'Elia situation. Imagine if one of, my, one of our friends was accused of sexual misconduct in the press. And we went on air and said, oh, I haven't talked to him yet because I was too busy getting eye surgery done. But if he did this, it was terrible. Mm -hmm. Instead of just going, uh, yeah, that's my friend. Fuck off. Yeah. Or say nothing. Or say nothing. Right. Just in case he did do that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I put your foot in your mouth. I am kind of surprised that Brian and Brendan didn't just stay silent about it. Well, I guess Brendan kind of did. He didn't really say much. But it's funny that Ari's acting like Brian just completely threw Chris under the bus. You know, like, what is Brian really going to say? And he was going to get canceled a few months later, so it wouldn't have helped at all. Probably would have just made things look worse. You know, they're both getting accused of stuff. I don't think him defending Chris is going to do anything. And I don't know if Brian's worked with Chris at all since all the allegations, but Brendan, like, right when Chris returned, started doing a podcast with him, so he kind of had his back. Even though I don't know if that's something you want on your resume, but I guess for Ari it is. You know, he thinks that all these comedians need to stick together. You know, him and Joe, they have this weird camaraderie thing, like a lot of comedians do. But Joe, you always hear him talk about it. He's always like, oh, there's only a thousand of us. We got to stick together. Even though Joe didn't have Chris D'Elia's back at all, you know, he didn't defend him at all. I think he deleted all the podcasts with him and he hasn't had him on the podcast since. I don't think he ever will. So I don't know why Ari has such a big problem with the way Brian handled this three years later. Well, I think there's more to it, like I said. The whole Kobe thing, I'm pretty sure that's part of it. If you remember right when Kobe died, Ari celebrated his death and made some videos and people were not happy about it. And pretty much everybody thought he went too far with it. Even comedians, including Brian Callen and Brendan Schaub. Brian said he messaged Ari right after it happened. And then him and Brendan talked about it on The Fighter and the Kid. And they're talking about how offended they were by it. And I don't think Ari was happy with this. It's, we should probably address... such a We should probably address because we've been getting a lot of DMs and stuff. I think it's appropriate to address, and I don't like doing this, someone who's in our community that we know, who's been on this podcast, um, Ari Shafir, and what he said in his video and his... his the reason I, thought... I I sent him a text. Yeah. So I, I, don't, I don't believe in talking behind anybody's back, because I, I got a lot of... It, I got a lot of... I got a lot of texts from other comics... Me who too. are like, can you believe this? Uh, including so people many. that are very close to him. So many. And a lot of people in the business that were really outraged. So and many. And then when I saw it, but it even shatters the common decency. It's poor taste. There's no there's comedy. There's no comedy, but there's also no... It's, it's, heart, it's, it's heartbreaking. It's, not only, it's puzzling, and it, it offended me, and it actually hurt my feelings. Me too. It made me, it made it, me sick. I found it. I found it. It made me so angry, and it's why I sent that text. I was getting all this thing. And you I know why? I was like, because this is, this it, is not... 
I can't. I can't have it. We can't have it. So I'm sure Ari was not happy about this, and I'm sure that's one of the reasons Ari doesn't like Brian. I don't think it's really the Crystalia thing. I think this is a big part of it, and maybe some other things, but Ari definitely was upset about this, especially because Brian and Brennan were talking about other comedians were saying he went too far as well, and Ari thinks like all comedians need to defend each other, and now Brian and Brendan are calling him out and talking about other comedians are calling him out as well. So this is probably Ari's real problem with Brian, and the Crystalia stuff just adds to it. And then I also think Brian had something to do with the Ari and Bobby Lee beef thing that they had going on like when Ari just kept beating him up for like three weeks I think Brian might have like said something to Ari about it or like try to fight him or something you know it's probably just a bunch of stuff but I think the main thing is the Kobe thing you know the way Ari talks about comedy he doesn't think any joke goes too far I mean he doesn't even think that drugging people goes too far so the fact that Brian and Brendan call him out and they talked about it for like five or six minutes and also Brian texted him. Maybe if he just texted him, he wouldn't have cared as much, but the fact that Brian's saying all this on the podcast, that just made things a billion times worse. So that's about it here. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my Patreon. I just made a video about Bobby Lee. There's some feminist comedian on TikTok trying to cancel him. I think maybe Ari needs to come to his defense now since Ari cares so much about this stuff. So if you wanna see that, make sure you go check out my Patreon and then leave me a comment here. Let me know what you think about all this. Then hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you at the next video. Okay. okay.